In this video, we're going to discuss how to build and lead a high-performing engineering design team. And we're going to do that right now. This video is brought to you by Engineering PDH Courses, your online resource for continued education for designers, architects, and those who are looking to renew their license. Make sure you stay to the end of the video to get the free offer. Building design teams, uh, specifically around certain projects in an engineering firm, can be a very uh, difficult task. But what we have found over the many years of working in various different types of teams, that a high performing team is usually a very diverse team and also a team that communicates well with one another. The leader of these types of teams allows the team members to discuss openly and equally amongst the team members about their concerns and maybe their thoughts on the various aspects of the, of the project. By allowing all the team members to openly discuss uh, the various aspects of the project, the leader allows the, the, each of the team members to equally discuss their ideas and their thoughts and concerns about the project. And also, the leader does not immediately throw away any ideas that he may deem as not, not correct or going down the wrong road. He wants to actually allow the person to discuss his ideas. And even though he may be wrong, at least he feels that he has an input, an input into the success of the project. When first building a team, an engineering design team, the individuals that the leaders and the managers would be looking for are very diverse. Although all the designers and even the engineers on the team will need to know the software that they use and even the technical uh, uh, equipment that they may be using, yet the individuals themselves are kind of expected to have different backgrounds and, and different ways of producing the, a product using that software and that equipment. So it's important that the individuals on the team are not clones of one another, but instead they have a very different background. Then these individuals with these different backgrounds are able to contribute to the project in ways that may have not been thought of either by the managers, the leaders, or any, or any of the other uh, members of the team. This is why it's important to have a very diverse group. So when looking to hire people, or to move people onto the team, you want to find people uh, that are not just like you <laughs> or not like other members of the team. If you're in a software type company that's developing software, you want people to come from different types of software companies so they can come together and form this new team. If you're in an architectural firm, you want to find people who are from the hospitality or from the uh, medical areas or from a commercial area or from a residential area and add them to your team. And then that creates this whole diverse group. If you're on an engineering team, like a civil engineering firm, you want to find people who have backgrounds in pipes and designing pipes, people who have the backgrounds in designing traffic, people with grading experience, people with uh, bridge designs. All these different groups of individuals who have worked in different backgrounds can come together on that team. So as you can see, the diversity of these types of teams, these design teams, are, are, are immense. And so they have a much broader array of projects that they can take on. And they have different uh, viewpoints on how the project can be completed. The type of individuals that you're looking for to add to your team, perhaps, are better skilled and have more experience than you as a manager or leader has on that same software or on that same equipment. It's always better to have someone more experienced than you uh, working on the software. If you're getting value out of this video, go ahead and go down below and hit subscribe and the like button. And also stick around and see the next video in this playlist. The next important part as a leader or a manager of the team is that you need to allow the individuals to have free autonomy in meeting the company's expectations on the projects. You don't want to dictate to them exactly how to do their jobs, 
but you want to give them the guidelines to do their jobs. So that way, they feel like they have a major input in how the project has been completed. So there are two very key um, principles that you need to follow when managing people on your team. First, they must feel like they have an equal input on, on the project, that no one in the team that no one in the team is cut out or left out of the discussion on how the project will be uh, on how the project will be completed. Each person has an equal input in that discussion. The second principle is that you need to make sure that no matter what their ideas are, everybody on the team will need to listen to those ideas. Consider the ideas. And you never know, although their ideas may be a little bit off or may be a little bit weird or may seem totally impossible to do on the project, it may also spur new ideas, maybe a new way of writing the code, maybe a new way of, uh, of aligning an architectural feature on a building, maybe a new way to lay the stresses, the trusses on a bridge, maybe uh, a new way of, of using asphalt and other material in order to lay out a road design. You never know what weird ideas may generate better ideas. And so it's always important to listen to everyone's thoughts on the team. Remember, when building your team, you want a diverse group of individuals, each with their own say in the project's designs, each to be listened to by all the other members of the team, including the leaders and the managers. Also, please make sure you download that free business health checklist. Uh, this is a great uh, PDF that if you just answer the questions in the checklist, it'll show you the health of your business and the key areas that you may need to work on just a little bit more right now. Also, take a look at just in the other corner, uh, the next video in the playlist. So we'll see you on the next video. 